Welcome, this is Jeff from the Watkins Tree Farm. How are you guys? As you guys can see, I'm inside in the kitchen, avoiding that heat outside. But the main goal today is, as many of you know, I have a drone, and I'm learning to use it, and I've used it in a few of my videos. I'd say about a month ago, maybe a little over that, I was filming the harvest near our house, and I went across the field to where the combines were, and all of a sudden everything started going boom, boom, and low battery, low battery. That thing took, turned around, came right back, hit a tree, zipped around, and then smashed right into the ground. So this is what I'm dealing with. And so I went on Amazon and I purchased some uh, new arms. So right now I am going to attempt to take this drone apart and then take these broken arms off, reinstall new arms, and put it all back together. I'm going to take you guys along. There's going to be a screw here. There's going to be a screw right here. And then there'll be two screws there and there. So for this step, in which we're uh, taking the wires off of the circuit board, you need a soldering iron, some needle nose pliers, and some patience. And I would also recommend taking a picture of your wires so you know exactly where they go, so when you put them back, they go in the same spot. Basically, what he's doing here heating the solder that's there currently and then pulling the wire out. And once all those wires are pulled, which we got this last one right here, then you just kind of got to work the wires along the edge there and get them loose and then literally just pull it out the side. Now in order to put the arm back on, you're going to do everything in reverse. I think the hardest part of this is probably uh, fishing it through the side and getting the wires to come out. Line up the hole that it goes to, heat up the solder, and put the wire in. So once we did that, everything's all ready, and then I received the drone and I put the rest of it together. Well, as you guys just saw, uh, the arms get soldered to the circuit board. That was my buddy Bryce, and he builds drones as a hobby. And so I asked him to solder those for me, and he did it. And he also videotaped it. So. I appreciate it Bryce, I thank you, and I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. One thing you need to note, there's an extra tab right in there, it's right there, and that needs a line up to the hole in the motor. Otherwise it will not fit flat. So we have connected the arms to the body and this is a, a spring-loaded piece that fits into a square hole 
and the square hole is in the arm which goes through the body. Uh, the way I found out is I had it uh, retracted all the way and then I put that in and you have to twist it slightly to preload it and then push it down and then it snaps in place. I need to right now screw those into place. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. They uh, just fit in the coordinating holes and go down and then we just put in two screws. This side has the antenna and there's a little slot for the antenna right there and so we're gonna put that in like that. Make sure it sticks out and we're gonna screw it into place. We're going to connect this right now and this one has two tabs wide apart and this one has two tabs close. That's how you locate these bracket, these clips into the electrical connection. And then it's just a matter of putting the cover on. two screws are right here and here. Okay, so we have this put together. These were the two arms that broke and now we've got them replaced, soldered back. Let's go see if we have our drone back. So right now I am going to uh, unfold the drone, turn it on, sync it with my controller and see if we're uh, cooking with gas. Let's do this. Well guys, I count that as a success. We got the arms, took the broken ones off, put the new ones on. I had my buddy Bryce solder the uh, new arms on. We buttoned everything up, put all the screws in, 
put the battery in there, a charged battery in there, uh, went out away from the trees, turned it on, hooked it up to the controller, and it took off. So that was the success. I can uh, get my drone footage back to the uh, channel. And uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, hit the like button. And as usual, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I ask you guys to do that. You guys take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.